edition. I'll be asking myself, well, I posted on my Instagram to ask questions about whatever. And so, yeah, I'm just going to be answering them and that are going to be getting ready with me. So let's get started. So the first question that I saw was, um, how was it living in Mexico? And I feel like that's a very asked question from my friends and stuff. So it's been, it's been different. It's been challenging. Definitely not impossible, because obviously I'm here. But it has been a little tough because I don't have my family with me and stuff, so I'm just here by myself. Like, I have my family with me, but not my family family. Like, my parents, my brothers, and my mom, you know? Wait, that's parents. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? But yeah, guys, I feel a little lonely. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm here for a reason, so that's what keeps me going. Um, the living situation is very different compared to the US, it's definitely more challenging. Sorry, guys, I live next to the sink, so yeah. But yeah guys, it's been challenging, definitely not impossible, but yeah, it's been a little too much. Okay, so the next question is, um, is there any potential sign chores? Um, <laughs> my best friend actually asked me this question. I'm over your your tripping. No, there isn't. Um. There's no potential uh, essentials. Uh, I'm just focusing on me right now. Like, I don't really want a boyfriend. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Like, no, like, yeah, there has been. Like, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of tea. There has been uh, two guys that tried to be gay with me, but here. But I told them no because, like. I don't want to you know like it just I feel like I'm not ready for a relationship or to be with anyone and it just doesn't feel right um I feel like my breakup happened too soon like not too soon but like how do I say it it's been a short amount of time so like I don't think I'm ready for a relationship um I was with that person for a lot of years, so um, I don't think I'm quite ready to like move on, and be with somebody, or talk to somebody. Right now, I'm in my. Oh my god, bro! Oh, hell no, man! What the fuck, man? Right now, I'm in my healing stage. I'm focusing on me, trying to get my classes going. Um, trying to learn new things, trying to learn myself, stuff like that. All the basic bullshit every girl says. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I am doing my eyebrows a different way. This is the second time I do soap brows. I don't know how I feel about it. I just want to try it again because I feel like the first time I did it, I didn't do it the way I wanted to. Let me tell you where I got this from. Oh. This is actually very affordable. It's from uh, Miss A. Hold My Brow Clear Long Wear Brow Soap. So that's it. But yeah, I found out that this was in my makeup bag. And I was like, oh, I'm... let me use it. But yeah, guys. That's the answer to the question. So the next question is, what is your favorite part of living in Mexico? My favorite part of living in Mexico, I feel like, is...
My favorite mm -hmm. part of living in Mexico is, I think, is because my favorite part of living in Mexico is definitely, I think, that me getting to spend time with myself, like, me getting to know myself, um, definitely the time I spend with myself, um, I get to, you know, be by myself, um, I'm learning new things about my culture, definitely that, because there's some things that I know now that I didn't know about my culture. Also, I feel like everything happens for a reason, so I'm here for a reason. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm liking the culture, the new food. Um, ever since I'm here, ever since I'm here, I feel like I've tried new things. I experienced a museum recently and I never really went to a museum before so I feel like that was really fun um definitely didn't wear the right shoes for it but it was fun you know excuse the yelling in the background it's my grandma but yeah it was really fun and I'm glad that I'm doing new things you know thanks to my tia also because she takes me she takes me out and she, like, she helps me experience new things here in Mexico. So, yeah, that's definitely fun. But, yeah. All right, guys. The next question is from my homegirl, Queen Reese. Shout out to you, girl. Um, the question is, are you still on BC, which is birth control? Which one would you recommend? I want to take it for acne reasons, really so no i'm not on birth control no more i had a bad experience with birth control it actually fucked with my hormones it fucked with my everything like literally i w i gained so much weight i'm not saying that birth control is the reason why i gained so much weight because it also it also had to do with me but um yeah it just i don't recommend it I, I'm not a professional, so I say go to like a, go to a doctor or one of those people that you know. Um, I forgot the name of the doctor that takes care of that shit, but I say go to him and tell him your situation, cause I know a lot of girls it helps them actually with their whole acne, with their hormones. It's actually like a positive thing for them but for me it was something very negative also because i mean i asked a lot of questions when i got it but then again i was literally 16 years old 16 or 17 and yeah i just i had a bad experience with it so i don't recommend it to nobody but um if it's just for acne reasons i feel like you should go to like a I was about to say an acne doctor, but you know, you know what I mean, like, because I don't know the name, <laughs> name of them, but I feel like you should go to an acne doctor because just to take birth control because of that, I don't feel like that's a reason to get birth control. Um, but then again, it just depends on you and what you want to do, you know, because at the end of the day, it's your body, your choice. But um, yeah, I say go to a professional and ask as many questions as you have because my experience wasn't the best, so yeah, that's what I have to say about that. But I hope it helps. Let me see. All right, so the next question is, why did I move to Mexico? But I feel like I'm gonna do a separate video for this because it's like the actual reason. But um, I'm gonna tell y'all like other reasons why I'm here, you know? Cause I'm saving that for another video. Um, I actually moved here because I wanted to be away from home. Like, like how do I explain it? Not away from home, but like... Sorry, hold on. Does this happen to y'all girls? Because it fucking pisses me off. Anyways, um, 
No, yeah, the reason why I moved to Mexico is because, well, one of the reasons why is because I wanted a change. I wanted something different because if you know my situation, which I don't really think I talked about it, so I don't think none of you know it, but um, this is going to be a long answer, so grab some slides. But it's because I don't know if y'all know what, I stopped working for a while and for a couple years actually because i hurt my ankle and um while that happened i gained a lot of weight because i hurt my ankle i really let myself go i was in a relationship and i'm not saying it's the relationship's fault no but it has to do a lot with discipline as a person because i could have gone to the gym and stuff which i would but not consistently i would be very i wouldn't be very consistent with my working out with eating but i was just happy in a relationship and so i depended on that so much so that's one of the reasons um and that just like made me comfortable with the person i was and i thought that i was going to be with that person forever which it's not bad to think about but you can't get comfortable with the person you're with because you may know the plans you have but you know they may promise you stuff but that's not what they have planned you know so um sorry this question is getting all over the place but it just has to do with so much but yeah i was actually living at home taking care of my brothers taking care of my um house cooking cleaning basically being like the mom of the house and um yeah so i was just bored of my life and i was very depressed because around that time before i came me and my ex broke up and so i actually had mm, I, I was in a very bad depression stage i didn't wanna i was just really bad i wouldn't sleep there was even a time that i realized that i didn't eat for a whole week it may be like it may sound like extra but i'm literally not joking um my parents didn't even know what to do with me because i I was just didn't want to do nothing. I was very sad. Um, I would escape from Friday to Saturday to Sunday with my best friend and stay with her because situations were going on at home as well. There was just so much stuff. And I just felt lonely because I was used to my partner, you know, being with my partner. And yeah, so one day my dad just told me, hey, do you want to go to Mexico? And I was like, Mm, what am I gonna do in Mexico? That's not my country, you know? Like, yeah, like, my blood's from there and everything, but to be honest, I was like, what am I gonna do over there? Like, the fuck, you know? And around that time, I actually was trying to fix things with my ex, and so, long story short, because um, this story's already getting long, um, things didn't work out, and I, um, I was really sad and one day my dad was like hey come on like think about it you want to go to Mexico like you're you're gonna be good over there your family's gonna help you like you know it's just gonna be fun and he was like just think, think it as in like a, an experience that you're like a vacation type thing and you're gonna focus on yourself you're gonna just do you and stuff and at the time I was like it sounds like a really good idea i was like you know what i do want to do this and so yeah i just decided in within like literally one or two months i had to plan everything i think it was one month actually because that's a whole other story but long story short i was waiting i lost my birth certificate when uh, we moved apartments and um i had to get my passport as well to travel so i was just waiting for that and 
yeah i literally just once my my stuff got here i booked a flight first flight to mexico and that's it so yeah now i'm here but yeah like the short like story is that i was just really in a bad situation and my parents were tired of seeing me like that and i was tired of seeing myself like that like i was tired of going through the same thing i was just in a really bad place and i wasn't like because a lot of people are like oh you ran away from home and you ran away from your problems no i don't think i ran away from my problems i feel like i did this for myself because i know that i needed a change plus once you see the other video it's all gonna make sense but um yeah that's part of the reason why i'm here too so yeah so the next question is for me because not a lot of people answered my q a which is cool i got enough questions for myself um the next question is what are my ambitions like what are my goals for this year is that the same thing i think so my goals for this year 2023 are definitely to just be like a better person for myself i know this sounds corny a lot of people um talk about this stuff um a lot of people like sorry I'm So anyways, um, yeah, my goals for this year are definitely to learn about me, do more hobbies. I want to get into more painting. I want to get into a lot of things. I actually did a TikTok of 300 things. It's from Steve Harvey. I don't know if y'all seen that um, TikTok, but it's write 300 things in a notebook or whatever and of things you want for this year and look at them every day in the morning and you know just basically remind yourself why you're waking up every day why you want to do what you want to do and um i just want to be more more involved with myself like i want to take care of myself love myself more um focus on me not focus on like other people or like other people's problems um because like at the, end, at the end of the day i've always been the friend to like give advice be there for people and stuff you know but i feel like i need to be there for myself more than anything because at the end of the day it's like yeah like i could be there for people and everything but who's there for Dawson? you know so i feel like obviously god is always here for me but i also need to put the time for myself and you know love myself but yeah that's one of the goals um i'm not gonna name every goal because the video is gonna be like so long but yeah i also want to take care of my mental health and i want to take care of my my physical health as well um but yeah those are like the main ones um if y'all want more like more in depth or something or like advice let me know now in the comments let me know down in the comments and i'll definitely do a video for that but yeah that's the goals for this year right now well the top ones I obviously have more, but um, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to be a long video. But yeah, that's all for now. So the next question is, what are your goals for 2022 for YouTube? So I feel like my goals for this year um, for my channel are definitely so many. Like, I want to be more consistent. I want to post at least two videos a week but no nah, no nah, there's no but i'm gonna do it i want to post two videos a week i i feel like i've done good i don't know 
I don't know though. Okay, no, no, no. I do know because so like I saw I don't know if y'all noticed. If y'all follow my social medias and if y'all don't follow my social medias, y'all need to follow my social medias. But um I literally before coming here to Mexico, I literally had like what barely a hundred subs. And once I started being here, I kid you not, y'all, I literally have um, 612 followers now. And I'm not capping. I'm literally going to put up on the screen. But yeah, I am so happy with myself. I just can't believe it. Okay, okay I'm going to leave that speech for the end of the video. But yeah, um, I want to be more consistent with my videos. I want to bring more content in. Um, I definitely want to try new things. Like, I want to do more, like, challenges now that I live in a new state. No country. <laughs> I'm oh, Sorry. Now that I live in a new country, I definitely want to, um, I want to do new things. Like, I recently just moved into my room. As you can see, my clothes is there. I'm going to buy a cortina because it looks really ghetto. And there's some things I need to buy. I haven't posted it because some situations happened and I thought I was going to move somewhere else. But um, let me know if y'all want cheese me. Comment down on my videos and I'll definitely give you a cheese me. Because since I moved here, I have so much cheese me, y'all. Literally. But yeah, I want to... Um, I want to do room tours. I want to do shopping spree videos. But yeah, I also want to... I don't think I'm going to do this, this. Like, I'm not going to put myself out there like that. Like, I'm not going to say, like, that I'm not going to be able to because I want to be able to. Well, I will be able to, my man. But I want to buy a professional camera for YouTube because I still use my iPhone, which there's nothing wrong with that, but... I just want to give you better quality um i'm gonna actually i have some projects in the works for this room so my videos could look better but everything has to do with money and y'all know like i'm not the richest person so um yeah i there's so many things there's just so many things but um i don't want to talk about it because you know i just want to show y'all i don't want to talk about it i want to show y'all um but yeah i just want to be better better content i want to be a better youtuber mas que nada i feel like i just want to show y'all the real me you know because i know a lot of people be doing this stuff but like cap cap like like i didn't write this down like sometimes i'm not saying that i'm not bashing people no 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 what I'm saying is just sometimes they don't show y'all the real life, like what they really live, you know? And I want to do that because I fuck with YouTubers that are like that, that are real, you know? So yeah, I just want to bring more makeup content, more challenges, more vlogs. You know, I want to do everything. So that's in the works right now. I'm sorry if my answer is all over the place, but that's what I'm at right now. But yeah. Alright y'all, so I feel like right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want this journey to be long. I don't even know if it's long, but um, I'm going to do that off camera. I'll be right back when I'm done because if y'all want to see a tutorial of me doing this, it's going to be definitely another video. But yeah guys. I'll be back when I'm done. And yeah, bye. I wanted to appreciate everyone that follows me. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone that has followed me on my journey on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for uh, supporting and liking, subscribing, commenting to the ones that you know support. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. Let's get to a thousand followers. I want to do a uh, giveaway when i get a thousand subscribers it's not gonna be the biggest thing because you know i want to see what i can afford but yeah i want to give away something to my followers but yeah 
I hope y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post on a video. And yeah guys, so see y'all next video. Bye.